from a cheating scandal so big, it got an entire country banned to players getting red cards on purpose. These are the 10 times football players were caught cheating. And first up, this dude tried to set up Ronaldo for disaster. Sevilla versus Real Madrid in 2017, and Ronaldo was the center of attention. See, he was trying to bag all three points for Madrid, and got the perfect opportunity when his team got a penalty after a foul. It's Ronaldo, man. Of course he's going to bang it. And Vitolo knew it too. So just before Ronaldo stepped up to place the pen, Vitolo came up with a plan to reduce Ronaldo's chance of scoring. But Ronaldo wasn't having it. He got so pissed, he nearly took him out and still had the composure to score two. Egg on Vitolo's face. Vitolo's antics that day was a joke, man. Kind of like a pull your pants down kind of joke. And I literally mean that because the defenders in the preem back in the day used to do crazy stuff like this. They'd do anything to win. Get this, it's in the League Cup, Aston Villa vs Spurs, when Villa striker Hellenus gets through on goal and the crowd is already up on their feet expecting him to blast this one. But instead, he falls face flat on the turf. And it's not because he slipped, well, let's just say he found himself in a sticky situation, all thanks to this guy. What the hell, man? Jan Vertonghen had this guy's pants down, and the ref didn't do anything. Not even a pen. Vertonghen got away with this one. You should probably never try this in a game, because if you did, your opponent could two-time you right in the jaw if he gets pissed. Gotta admit, watching Hellenus go face flat again is kind of funny, just like it was when Mo Salah turned himself into a dolphin mid-game. In 2021, it was Salah's Liverpool team facing City, except this time, the pressure was on Salah and his teammates. See, Liverpool was on a horrible losing run at home in the Prem, and Salah was desperate to change that. Only problem was that City defense was rock solid. So Salah decided if he couldn't get a clear goal, he'd rather just buy one instead. Or more like dive into one, man. Because what the heck is this? Yeah, I guess I'd be adding the title Dolphin to one of Salah's nicknames pretty soon. That dive was hilarious, but it wasn't as chaotic as the time Johan Caballé and his teammate cheated their way through to one of the craziest free kicks I've ever seen. Newcastle was facing Stoke City in the Premier League when they got a free kick just outside the box. Now, didn't seem like a real issue until Johan stepped up to take it, and that's when the chaos erupted. Kabaye and his teammate Steven Taylor had found a crazy loophole in the free kick rules because technically, you could have your own player stand anywhere in front of the goal, in the box. So when Kabaye was all set to take it, Taylor went into action. Oh, come on! Crazy thing is, it actually worked. Honestly though, Taylor got in the way of the goalie and blocked him off. So technically, he cut off his eyesight. Now, I haven't seen anyone try to pull this off ever since, so I'm guessing it's been banned. Just like Messi should have been banned from the World Cup after he got busted doing something clearly illegal on the pitch. Argentina's 2022 World Cup quarterfinal match versus the Netherlands was more than just a game for Messi. Because apart from desperately trying to win the World Cup, this game was going to mark 36 years since Diego Maradona shocked the world and created one of the most iconic moments in World Cup history, the hand of God. So Maradona claimed his handball goal against England was divine because somehow the ref was the only person on the pitch who didn't see it. 36 years later, and now Messi was at the same stage as captain. I guess my man was trying to do something to honor Diego, but he didn't read the full script because someone tell Messi Maradona did his own in the box and scored with. Messi got caught in 4K. At least he wasn't getting sent off because you can't say the same about Luis Suarez. The ref wasn't even having it. Uruguay vs Ghana in the 2010 World Cup quarterfinals, and Ghana was on the brink of making history. 
The Ghanaians knew. All they had to do was win, and they become the first African team to reach the semi-finals of the World Cup. And in the final minutes of extra time, they got the perfect opportunity. The ball got whipped into the box, and Ghana got a header on target that was definitely goal-bound. But it never crossed the line, because Luis Suarez wasn't having it. Yup, he didn't believe in fairy tales. Suarez immediately got sent off, but lucky for him, Gian missed the pen for Ghana, and Uruguay won the game on pens to knock them out. Man, Suarez has to be the ultimate bad guy in football. Imagine getting hated in two countries. Four years later, Suarez was on center stage again. This time, it was Uruguay versus Italy, and the Italians knew how dangerous Suarez was, so they had Giorgio Cialini mark him all game. I'm pretty sure Suarez was getting frustrated, and with all of that heavy marking, he was getting hungry too. Now, in case you didn't know, Suarez ain't the type of guy to wait in line for a meal when he gets mad hungry. He eats the closest thing available to him. Uh, scratch that, the closest person. Yeah, he went all canine on Cialini. When FIFA got involved, they banned Suarez for five months. I gotta ask Suarez if the meal was worth it, though. He's like Count Dracula or something. To be honest, Suarez was just trying to rescue his team, man. And I guess I can say the same thing, too, for Federico Valverde. After he risked everything just to see his team win. So get this. Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup Final of 2020. And with the game going into extra time, Atleti got the perfect counter on the break. And once Morata was through, you just knew he was bound to score. Only problem was, Valverde wasn't prepared to lose his first Super Cup Final yet. And because of how high stake the situation was, Valverde knew he had to act quick. So in a split second, he risked everything just to see his team win. Whoa, took him out clean. And it gets even better too. Turns out the only reason Valverde was determined to take Murata out was because his captain, Sergio Ramos, was shouting at him to remove Murata. Ramos is a master of the dark arts, man. He'd do anything to win, even if it means cheating his way through. Real Madrid vs Ajax in the 2019 Champions League round of 16. And in the first leg, Ramos realized he had a problem and thought he found a loophole. See, at the time, Ramos was on a yellow card coming into the game, meaning if he got another yellow card, he'd miss the quarterfinal. And from the look of it, Madrid was going to face Juve, a big game. So Ramos came up with a plan, and right after Madrid bagged the second goal, Ramos put his master plan into action. He purposely got himself booked so he could miss the second leg, but in the end, it was a huge fail. In the second leg, Ajax beat Madrid 4-1, and Ramos got to watch his team get humiliated from the stands. Looking at it now, I bet there's an outside chance Ivan Tony had a bet on Ramos to get sent off. So there's cheating, there's cheating in football games, and then there's Ivan Tony, man. His cheating addiction was so bad, he had to go see a therapist. Last season, Tony was making headlines in the league when he got banned by the FA for eight months for betting on himself. Apparently, Tony was betting himself to score in games, and once the FA found out, they got so pissed they couldn't take it. Tony also had bets on his team to lose games, and that's when his club discovered he had a gambling problem. Lucky for Tony, Brentford decided to look after him and got him into rehab, and now his band is almost up, he's looking at banging the goals in again for his club side. Who knows? Tony's story could have a fairy tale ending because he's coming back in a couple of weeks, and I'm willing to bet he's a changed man now. And that's because he had eight months to watch all the content on Goalzone by hitting that subscribe button like you're about to.